Did you know men are six times more likely to be struck by lightning than women? Keeps out why is that though? But in which way, welcome to the weekly quiz. I've got contestant number one and contestant number two. Contestant number one, introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Loak. Who's your guy? Pizza Morolo. Chimorolo. Contestant number two, please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Vevevve. I got a chicken and fries with extra bag. Take a little jalapeno pepper, maro sabja musikora. Wana basa kama ya gemara. Wow. Come on. Wow. Who's your guy? Aha, uh -huh. mm. Nice one. Right, now, uh, we're going to play the weekly quiz. This is how it works. There are three rounds. First round is the uh, multiple choice round. Second round is the true or false round. And the last round, you have to use your mind. It's off the top of your dome. Let's play the weekly quiz. Contest number one, this is your first question. The most expensive coffee in the world is brewed from beans that come from where? Is it A, Kenya, B, partially digested and defected by an Asian palm civet, or B, made in a lab? Uh, a, Kenya. Kenya. Um, yeah. coffee? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is incorrect. It's actually from a, an Asian palm civet. Question number two, here is your... Uh, first question and it reads like this what are the most valuable names on earth is it a coca-cola b gucci c jesus come again come again what are the most valuable names on earth is it a coca-cola is it b gucci is it c jesus uh i'll go for c just aggressively yes. um, well, that is incorrect. Coca-Cola, it is the most valuable name in that the company alone has Coca-Cola is the most expensive uh, brand name. Jesus Christ, yes, I don't know Coca-Cola is a Jesus Christ. The question number one here is your second true or false question. Which bird can see the color blue? Is it A, owls, murubis? B, pigeons or C, chickens? Uh, A. Rubies. Hey, rubies. Oh, why are you here? Um, hey. Can I just a lucky guess? Because, eh, uh, that, that's, that's close, that's close enough. It's actually correct. I was can see the color blue. Yeah, but you go my girl. Deep on Mebala is silly, but not the color blue. Because number two here is what's or Yahaho. That will be a multiple choice. Which country was the first to legalize abortion? Is it A, Japan, B, Turkey, or C, Iceland? It's Japan. Why would you? Ah, get, get, get Japan, eh? Like out of Japan, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, had you said Turkey, you would have been incorrect. You said Japan, you remain incorrect. It's actually Iceland. That's the first country to legalize abortion. In Japan, they, they fascinate themselves a lot with uh, sexual activity. They don't like destroying. Question number one, here is your uh, final question of round number, uh, round number one. What burns more calories? What burns more calories? Is it A, sleeping, B, watching TV, or C, having sex? Six. It is actually correct. Let me just move on to uh, the, the, the last question for question number two. That is correct, right? Question number two here is yours. What makes your hearing less sharp? What makes your hearing less sharp? Is it A, eating too much, B, farting, or C, bathing? Bathing, C. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> Had you said farting, you would have been incorrect. And you still remain incorrect. It's actually eating too much. How is it? 
Anyway, that's how we come to the end of round number one. Question number one is currently leading, having answered most questions correctly. We are going to move on to round number two, uh, which is going to be the true or false type of round. Let's find out how that one comes about after this. Right, and we're back. Now, this is round number two, which is the true or false round. They each have two questions to answer. Let me start with question number one. Here is your first question of round number two. Dreamt is the only English word that ends with the letter M-T. True or false? Come again. Dreamt. Dreamt is the only English word that ends with the letter MT, true or false? It's true. Ow. Wow, dear. Murlo. In a random way, like, is it going to How soon will you go to the Bell and MT? That's correct. It's actually true. It is the only word. You know, what like I MT. Let's move on to uh, question number one for contestant number two. Photophobia is the fear of lying. True or false? Photophobia is the fear of lying. True or false? True. Final answer? True. Um, it's actually incorrect. It's false. Photophobia is actually not the fear of Huaga. Question number one here is your last question, yeah, true or false? An octopus has three hearts, true or false? It's false. Final answer? False. Well, this one obviously will not know. It's actually true. It has been. It's a taro. Yeah. Question number two here is your final true or false question. And it reads like this. The water we drink is already three billion years old. True or false? Hmm? Come again. The water we drink is yeah. already three billion years old. True or false? Three billion. Yes. Mm. That's true. Hmm. Wow, real. You can know so much about the legal air. No, I can't even tell me like that's true. That's how I feel. Only me is good. No, no, no. No, not today. Well, you should drink it and you are actually correct. It's actually true. The water is already 3 billion years in age. And that's how we come to the end of this particular round. Contest number one is still leading. Uh, having a combination of uh, uh, round number one and round number two answering questions correctly, but he's closely followed by question number two. Let's see what happens, Haritzena, more the final round of the weekly quiz right after this. Right, and we are back. This is round number three. Question number one is leading. We need our uh, contestant number two. Now, here is a 
Question number one's final question of the weekly quiz. The general vegetation of the country, the country that is Botswana, is what? What is the general vegetation of Botswana? Come again. The general vegetation, vegetation here we tell on Mobotwana, Ilin Tiaza Mayana, Hobona, and Hell. Ibiguama. The general vegetation of Botswana is known as what? It's land. Question number two, here is yours. Which tree covers most of the eastern and western parts of Botswana? Which tree? covers most of the eastern and western parts of Botswana. Hmm. Mopani. Mopani tree. Right, after this we'll find out uh, who has since done well in round number three. And we'll get to find out Hore, uh, who has since won the weekly quiz right after this. Right, welcome back to uh, the weekly quiz. This is the final round. They actually were asked uh, questions and the question that was asked to question number one was, um, which vegetation is actually found in Botswana? Vegetation near vast Enzi. And he gave his answer, he said, he said land. Unfortunately, that is incorrect, it's savanna grassland. Did he, I think, um, and then question number two's question was which tree covers most of the eastern and western parts of Botswana? And in actual fact, he's correct. And that's how we come to the end of the weekly quiz. Now it's time to crown and find out how the Kimang William Kore Uditeri. And from what I've calculated, uh, today's winner. As contestant number one, have him answered questions. His questions are mostly correct. Question number two, next time me. <laughs> right, if you want to be part of the weekly quiz, it's very, very simple. On the screen, there's that number. Simply just uh, communicate to that number. Uh, and you could also just walk away with Kibanyana, so solo, so solo, just answer the questions. Otherwise, catch me again, same time, same place, next week. Shop, shop. <laughs>